I'm Bear Grylls, and these are my 10 essentials. Some dried maggots, and you might think, why would any human being want to take maggots with them? But the thing is, maggots have saved me so many times in the wild. You know, sometimes, especially on running wild on the adventures, you know, you might, you know, you're traveling the whole day, and I'm always kind of hopeful I'm going to come across something, some, you know, bird eggs or catch a fish or even a carcass of an animal. You generally always find those if you hike for long enough. But uh, my backup plan is always maggots. They're hard to defend, <laughs> apart from on the basis of good nutrition and they can save your life. And they're generally pretty accessible to find, especially if you're in forests or rainforests or, you know, generally even out and about. When everything goes wrong, maggots, they've saved me uh, many times. And great nutrition, lots of protein can save your life. And actually don't taste so bad. Land Rover Defender, although not a model of it. Land Rover have been part of, part of our cruise life, part of our filming life, part of my adventure life for many years. You know, we're operating uh, in a lot of difficult, inaccessible terrains around the world. Having vehicles that don't break down, reliable, and that you don't feel bad about smacking them around a bit, you know, because they definitely get a beat up uh, on a lot of these jungle tracks. And I think you form connections with gear and things that you trust. And I definitely have that with the Land Rover Defender. I have such sort of memory of it always as being there, you know, in the big moments, in adventure moments, even if it was camping with the family. You know, it wasn't always just about deserts and jungles and mountains. Throw everything in the back. We know it's basically gonna get us there in one piece. Good vehicle, Land Rover Defender, my favorite. Still to this day, it's what we use. Okay, so the next item on my list of essentials, an unusual one, but it is something that helps me a lot. Beef liver. Desiccated, dried beef liver. This stuff's called Carnivore Aurelius. It's a brand that I kind of love and use. It's quite hardcore when you eat this. When you first try it, it's like, oh wow, that is, that is quite intense. But I've grown to really love it. It's my kind of snack of choice when we're out there. And also super healthy, you know, to be having, I mean, this, it's well known for the, amongst those who know that liver is a real kind of super king food in terms of health. You only have to look at the animal kingdom. First thing that a lion will go for, straight in for the soft organs and above all the prized liver. You only have to hang out with enough indigenous tribes and indigenous people around the world to realize how much they value liver after a kill when they're hunting. And I've learned to listen to nature, listen to indigenous people, and listen to the animals. So if it's good enough for them, for me, liver, even though it's an acquired taste, I love it. So the next item for me is a little wooden cross. Something super easy, super light, small, something I always throw in my bag when I'm traveling. I'm not always particularly religious, but I definitely have a sort of quiet faith in here. And this cross just comes with me and it just reminds me of the important things in life. You know, walk humbly, try and be kind, look after people along the way. That for me symbolizes a lot of that. Anything that gives us strength and helps us day to day is a good thing. LA Dodgers baseball cap. Where I'm from in the UK, baseball caps aren't quite as popular, but my best buddy, Dell, who is American, loves the LA Dodgers. And one time he said, Bear, the Dodgers have asked you to throw the first baseball of the season. We gotta do this. I remember actually having this ball and, and covering it in a little bit of fire paste and then lighted this thing, it was like flaming. And I threw that first pitch. And I didn't tell them I was gonna light it, I thought otherwise the fire department will start freaking out. And at the end, it all worked and they, they loved it. But I remember Dell told me two things. One is he said, make sure you throw it hard enough. There's nothing worse than throwing the first pitch and it not reaching. So I really gave it the full welly. And secondly, he said, make sure you get a LA Dodgers cap at the end. Reminds me of great city, great times, and my good buddy. So my next essential item would probably be a really good off-road e-bike. These are the ones that I use called Magic Cycles. You know, I've tried loads of different brands over the years, but I just love the freedom that some of these, especially these new e-bikes give you. You could kind of pound the hills in a way that it's almost impossible to do on a regular bike. And it's kind of instant access to adventure. And also they're great just for riding around town as well, doing mini adventures with the family. You know, there's nothing worse than kind of 
if you're a family and, and you're okay, but little, little one can't keep up, but e-bikes transform that. Next item on my list of essentials, Revolution Race, windproof, waterproof, outer jacket. You know, there's so many brands out there, everyone will have their favorite, but this for me has become a kind of firm favorite. Looks good, does the job really well. They're not expensive either, because we get through a ton of jackets, always just getting trashed or burnt or over a fire or whatever it is, it's gonna take a beating if you're out there. You got good pockets, you easy get to things. Also, you know, it's little things, like when your hands are really cold, you know, you don't want tiny little zippers that you can't reach because you, you haven't got much dexterity in your fingers. So things like having decent zippers and accessible pouches, and I'm always hesitant I never wanted to be like, we're selling a sort of thing, but you know, as an adventure, you find brands that you really like and you believe in. If I don't want gear and I don't want clothing, it's gonna let me down in the big moments. You wanna be able to depend on stuff. And these guys do it for me. Cardio Miracle. All about trying to help your heart stay strong, help your immune system stay strong. You know, there are a zillion different supplements on the market and everyone finds their kind of thing that works well for them. But this one's really helped me. It's just full of all of the fruits and vegetables. Also supports nitric oxide for those of you who are into this sort of stuff. You know how important that is for performance. Come a daily part of my life. A little scoop in the water, drink, ready to go. So the next item on my list of essentials is actually in my shoe. Always lives under the sole. Little laminated photo so it doesn't get trashed of my family. When I am out there in a jungle or desert and mountains and you have a few moments where things are going wrong and you're up against it and you're missing home, I've always got that. This photo is taken of the family where we live on this little island off the Welsh coast in the UK. Quite hard when you have a big family to get everybody smiling at the same time with their eyes open. <laughs> this is one of the good ones and I can pull it out and just a little reminder about sometimes you gotta dig deep. Life isn't always gonna be easy and you're gonna go through a few storms, you're gonna face a few battles and you're gonna encounter a few giants. And a little laminated photo of my family is a little bit of light for me to enjoy you, never give up. Okay, so my next essential item is this watch. I've had the privilege to be able to design this watch. We've done it all with ocean plastics, supporting tide charities to really try and protect, you know, the oceans. I think people are so much more environmentally aware nowadays. If they're gonna spend their money on something, they wanna do it for something they feel is gonna make a difference. And I think, you know, watches are so personal, aren't, aren't they? Everyone likes different things. But for me, it was, it was really fun to be able to design one, to be able to really make it tough, make it not too expensive for people. And also to throw in a, a bunch of survival features, like you can do pacing to measure your distance, you can find your direction, you know, little things like that. I'm really proud of it. And I keep seeing it now on, on people's wrists when I'm out there. You know, I saw the other day, I was, I was climbing somewhere and one of the climbers had it. And he came up, he said, good job. And I thought, yeah, that's cool. That's why we designed it and people like it. And it's supporting, most importantly, it's supporting these conservation charities. And I think we're all share this planet. We've all got to do whatever we can to protect it. And I think when it comes to conservation, it's as simple as this. If you love something, you do all you can to look after it. Thanks for joining me for this. My 10 essentials that I try and always keep with me. Have a great day.